Hello everyone, my name is Paul Burrows from Leica Geosystems and I'd like to welcome you to this Cloudworks for Navisworks product demonstration. This video will guide you through some of the basic functionality of Cloudworks for Navisworks and at the end of the video we'll provide contact details so you can reach out to the sales organisation. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do within Autodesk Navisworks Manage is change our view to a split view and we're going to do that vertically and that just makes it a lot easier to navigate. I'm going to open up an LGS file from the Cloudworks menu and you can see that that loads instantaneously into the 3D window and in this instance into both 3D windows and you can independently move those around uh, have one in the 3D view, have one in a plan view and then you can customise that accordingly. So the prime focus of the workflow today that we're going to look at within Navisworks is obviously clash management. And in order to do a clash against the design model, we of course need to append a file. So we're just going to bring in an NWC file uh, to the point cloud. And these are both in the same coordinate system. So that allows us to start doing the analysis much more quickly. Okay, so now we're going to jump back into the Cloudworks menu bar. And we're going to use something which is really unique to Cloudworks, and that is true space. So true space will allow you to pick from a list of all the scan locations within that project. So you can see here the list of all the setups from that uh, sports hall reality capture project. And we can then click on one of those, press OK, and that will open up within the true space window, the individual scan. Uh, there you can uh, see that whether there's any models, any geotags, you can change the color. Uh, but what is key is actually the ability when you're moving in that 3D space on the left hand side, you can see it will update in the Navisworks window dynamically. So there's another really nice feature within the True Space window, and that is the overview map. So you can quickly press the overview button, and then you get a plan view of your data set, and you can click then to jump to any scan position immediately, and that will update, and that will also update and reflect in the 3D window within Navisworks at the same time. So now we're going to have a quick look at the quick limit box function within that true space. You can see this is the bottom option within that uh, little window we, we can just see on the screen now. We can click the quick limit box, we can specify the size, and then when we go down into our true space window, we use the quick limit box function, pick on the area that we want to focus on, and then that will update and reflect and create that five meter, in this instance, five meter limit box, and allow us to be much more precise in terms of the data that we're working with. So as you can see, using the quick limit box function, we've got that synced, so it's updating in all 3D views, allows us to be much more efficient. Now we're gonna start looking at the clash checking functionality against the 3D model that we've loaded. So we open up our interference check, and we're gonna create a new one, and then we are actually able to choose between a clash or an anti-clash. Uh, so whether there is a clash between a point cloud and a model or whether there isn't. Um, and you can see here now we've got all the hierarchy of objects within that imported uh, Navisworks file. And we can actually choose which of those um, items within the hierarchy we're going to run the clash analysis on. Okay, so once we've clicked run, you'll be able to see the analysis and you'll be able to see the clashes and that will be updated and you'll be able to see those in the 3D view as well. So we'll just zoom across now and you'll see a highlighted in pink on the point cloud, the area where you've got the clash between the 3D model and the point cloud data. And this allows you to very, very quickly visually see where any potential problems are. Now what we can do is once we've got that, we can actually add any comments we can put the approval in there, so if that has been approved by someone or, or disapproved, then you can add that all as annotations and comments and information. And you can see here in the status, we can update that, and that will all come through into the report that we're going to export now. So we click export, just push it out as a TXT file to our desktop for demonstration purposes. And then when we press save, we'll open that up and you can see the information that is pushed out as part of the uh, report. Okay, so this is obviously a very simple report because it's only showing a couple of clashes, but you can see all that information is pulled through from the table within Navisworks. So that, in essence, is Cloudworks for Navisworks um, and primarily the, obviously, the clash management or the interference checking solutions. So I hope you enjoyed that very brief product demonstration. If you'd like more information, you can reach out to any of us at Leica Geosystems and we'll be happy to provide more content. Thank you very much for now. Take care and we'll speak soon.